to the cashier at the Sitco station. One day a crazy black woman will come in. She will rant and rave. She will make you think she can't be brave. But here's the thing. Bravery isn't what one chooses to be. It's just what one is. When one who was beaten to death still somehow had legs to take another step and the next day there was another blazing hot ball of light in the east like clockwork. So she got back up. She has a name, but you can't say it, not yet, because right now you just call her the excrement of flying mammals. Right now you just call her batshit. You'll tense up, crunch some numbers in your head, and it turns out the 950 you'll earn this hour is the same amount you'll earn the next hour. And clockwork is funny because this hour is way too long to listen to this woman for another goddamn minute. So you'll ask the manager what to do. His answer will be buy the book on Amazon so Bezos the Clown might get you a better job, might pay you circus peanuts minus this freak show. You go buy the book. If a disruptive customer is not redirectable, call 911. But what if you knew? 911 is a mine, a stun gun, it's swine come undone, it's a fine, an unsung hero without a cape but with a firearm? If you knew what it means to call that number, you would know those heroes won't save this woman. Just lock her in a cage until she calms the fuck down and they make a crime of her rage and arrest her for not being nice to them when they showed up. You would know what it could mean to tap SOS with our intertwined fingers. Samuel Morse didn't mean lethal force. He meant we can save ourselves. So maybe you'll call a different number. Maybe you'll ask her if she has a friend she could call. Maybe she'll call a sister from AA. And if so, there's no maybe. That sister shows up, she'll show up, she'll show up. With a ding of a bell about to save and be saved, she will burst through the door in the shirt and shoes ready for service. She will show up, she will say her name, she will say I'm here now, she will say and you and you my dear you, you are safe now. She'll take her hand, hands held, no hands up, don't shoot, don't you see? It's magic. Abracadabra. This woman's been sawed in half but she's still got those legs, remember? And now she joins with another, a non-binary sibling, a sister, a brother, it's fucking magic, I swear to you. Why call a pig when this woman can pull a rabbit right out of her hat to make room for the halo? You see it now? Angels for each other. The only number worth calling is 911 miles from the nearest bullet. The only law worth enforcing is the law of attraction. Nature abhors a vacuum, but nurture adores a classroom. And you, and you, and you, and you, you can learn now. Did you know? Scientists randomized 22 Galago monkeys, all with wounds from chronic self-injurious behavior. 11 of them were prayed for, the other 11 controlled. The ones who were prayed for healed faster. Seriously, they measured the size of each wound with tiny scab-sized rulers. It's not placebo because they weren't even human. It's not religion because it's just human kindness. It's not science because this kind of healing is called poetry because I am writing it after a sister inspired it. It's how we call each other by our names. It's how we hold each other up until that blazing hot ball of light pops back up in the east like clockwork and the big hand comes round again to be held and not cuffed because you called someone else.